So I want to cover, there will be some overlap with uh, what Jean presented, but I have to say we are 100% aligned, which is very, very reconforting to me. <laughs> and uh, I would like to cover a little bit what's going on in the local and Swiss community, what support you get. So there was a lot also said by uh, Shrina Flanman, sorry, is that Shrina Zan, sorry. Uh, and uh, the, uh, I apologize. And also, again, a little bit my view of whether or not it is for you. So entrepreneurial dynamics. In Switzerland, you have about 150 new high tech startups every year. In the region, 50 of them. We get about 20, 25 of them from EPFL and some the uh, Faro Schule as well. And we also have more and more, of course, serial, serial entrepreneurs. They already did a startup, they sold it, and they start the next one. And they, they bring a lot of value to the ecosystem. They are very important people because they do things faster, bigger, and they can help a lot of young entrepreneurs. Also, we get to see more and more alumni quitting the corporate world. So in case you don't start immediately the startup, you go to uh, learn maybe sales or something else at, 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 a large, uh, at a large multinational. There's always a good chance to come back later when you are 35 or something like that. No, no problem with that. EPFL has experience with about 250 uh, startups, uh, spin-off that was created. So we have a lot of experience. We move on. Uh, also, we have experience with startups of all size, including the ones that can raise tens of millions or more. These are some examples, but, but there are many more. Please. Some statistics and facts. So what we see, and it's not just here, it's, also, it's pretty much in all of Europe, uh, the tech companies, the, the tech startups, they do survive. 80% um, of them are still alive after 10, after, after 10 years. And there's a big reason for that, as was mentioned, uh, you have great research, great bases, you, uh, a strong USP. So it's up to you, us, collectively, to, to leverage this USP that is very unique. You already start from a position where you have something unique in the world, which gives you a very good chance to succeed. Then it's up to us to make it big. Now the problem we have, or we have had in the past, I think this is changing, has been changing the past two years, is that few companies grow rapidly. On average, we have only seven staff after five years, and this is not what we want. Uh, we want a lot more, tens, hundreds uh, of people after. So this is, this is an issue, this is an issue all across Europe. Of course, Switzerland is a small uh, home market uh, to sell your product into, and therefore you need to go international, it takes more time, so on. There are plenty of reasons, plus you have coming up with a complex product, so it takes time. But there is good news, this is changing. We have again serial entrepreneurs that have access to market much faster, that have, uh, we have also investors that are putting bigger amount of money, and now we, can, we have a better chance from Switzerland to uh, try a bet to become a leader, uh, at least in Europe or maybe sometimes in the world. Also, the other thing, all good projects get funded, but not fast enough, that's, that's one issue, but there's no real problem uh, in funding startups. I think if you push here, maybe, that we will have, yeah, okay, that's good. Uh, so, what support out there? I'll go very fast through that. The, the answer is there's a lot, uh, and it's up to you to grab what you need, but not everything, please. So again, I won't cover this whole system, but what you have to know, and this, is, this, is, this ecosystem is not unlike the one of MIT uh, or other places in the US. In order to uh, get great technology startup, Often, like every year, get 50, 100 uh, great technology startup. You need a lot of, of money. You need public powers that are behind. You need great universities with basic science. You need centers like Nanoterra, Pulse of Excellence, where you merge several technology into a very unique uh, technology USP uh, proposition. You need, of course, to entrepreneurship centers. Uh, like Venture Light, the CTI entrepreneurship, I'll come to that. You need, of course, some incubators, coaching centers, or you don't need them if you're extremely strong, but this is a way to, to, to get uh, a bit faster, I think. And, and you need all sorts of funding partners at the very stages of your uh, journey. And I will cover essentially those points in slightly more detail since you're already here. You already have all those basics covered. So, we'll start with the CTI, I think. Who knows what is the CTI, Commission for Technology and Innovation? Do you know? Everyone knows, more or less? So it's a unique agency. It's uh, reporting directly to the Minister of, um, um, uh, sorry, of Minister of Economic it, in Switzerland. It has a budget of about 150 million every year, and it, help, it does four things. It funds research projects between a, a young company 
and the universities. So it will fund a part of the universities, helps you develop your product further to reach the market. It funds coaching and entrepreneurships uh, here. So the project are here. And also it funds a platform to present your project to investors. Can we turn? So if we start with the, the trainings, there is a full program of training starting from the Venture Ideas, Venture Challenge, Business Creation, Business Development courses. Uh, you may already have gone through some of that. So Venture Challenge is for people that are still within uh, an academic institutions. And it is a semester course. Next year will be 10, 10 weeks. The Business Creation is a much shorter program. It's for the people that have already, in a way, started to validate their concept, their business idea. Did, they have done some homework. They know where they're going. They're really focused on their idea. It's a more intensive program, five days only, uh, across three weeks. And the Business Development Program is for the a bit later, typically a year later, when you already started selling, you know the pros and cons of your value proposition. You know the difficulty. You also want to grow internationally fast. And this is, this is the, another five-day program to, to move on. So this is what, uh, what it look at, looks like, the website uh, to register on Western Switzerland for now. Please don't come. Now moving on to the coaches. So in Switzerland, you have about 60 uh, CTI coaches that can help you with, uh, with developing your projects. They all have startup experience, quite a lot of startup experience. They've been involved in startup themselves uh, repeatedly. Uh, on top of that, you also mentors, I'll mention that, so that may have a very deep industry knowledge and can help you access this industry, and there are quite a few around. And of course, there are also international, international networks that have been built with Swissnext, if I don't know if you know the Swissnext network across uh, the world. But this is very helpful in trying to do what I mentioned in the, in, in the very beginning, go very, very rapidly to try and become a leader at uh, European or worldwide scales, like in that case, mostly worldwide. So this is what it looks like, uh, maybe being a coach. So you try and jump together with the, the person, but with a, with a little bit of chance, you know uh, how to handle the, the jump, essentially. Uh, so essentially, maybe a few words about the coach uh, role. So the coach is not going to do things for you. The coach is here to help you do things. It's here to help you uh, understand what you need as uh, team members, uh, what you need in terms of funding partners, what you need. Uh, at maybe in terms of uh, partnerships or uh, re uh, relationship with other uh, type of company. That's, that's very important. You, you do, but you have a sparring partners to do things together. Very neutral sparring partner. This is, this is our role. We're not going to tell you what you should be doing. You have to discover by yourself. Also, as I mentioned, we have, we have mentors. So the uh, ACUB NGO Association, I don't know if you know, but I guess you know ACUB, the Alumni Association of uh, EPFL. I think they changed the name to, to this year. It is no longer called ACUB, but anyway. Uh, essentially, what, what they've developed is a very nice group of mentors, angels, so people, alumni from EPFL that come back and support uh, young entrepreneurs, startups in teams of three. They would work also with you, not so frequently as the coach, but try and bring you the key access to, um, to, to market. Let's move on. Finally, funding. There is a lot of funding going here. I think I'm not dis going to talk about everything, but essentially what is important is the early days of your venture. You start by getting funding from foundations. Uh, and there is also a scheme called Venture Kick, I think was mentioned again. And uh, through that, if you look at the first steps, before you even have a product to go to market or a very clear idea of your value proposition, through all those tools, the foundation, the inner ground, venture kick, the feet I mentioned briefly as well, provides a, a friendly loan. You can get a, up to 500K or more. And then with a CTI project and maybe a little bit of business angel funding, you get an extra million, million or two millions, or sometimes even more depending on your field. Essentially, you can get reasonably easily if you're a good project and a motivated person, talented person, and I'm sure you all. Uh, essentially, uh, one, 1 1.5 million reasonably rapidly to play your case uh, and have a good chance to discover whether or not it's, you, can, you can pull it out. Please. So a quick work about the FIT, Foundation, Foundation pour l'Innovation Technologique. It provides loans uh, and we extended the, su the support uh, recently. So we have now about three to four million every year to bring to startups and we provide 100K loans, no interest and friendly loan. That means you remove uh, slowly after, after three years. And it now also provides uh, another type of loan up to 500K 
for the ones that want to develop faster. This one has some interest, but again, it remains friendly in the sense you don't have a personal obligation to reimburse this one. Let's move on. Finally, it's very important, the venture leaders, we mentioned that this is a great chance for the people that uh, want to benchmark the venture uh, in, in the US and now in, uh, also in China. Uh, this is a program of about 10 days. We, we select the best 20 entrepreneurs in Switzerland, 10 in the case of China for now, and they go for a 10-day program in the US or in China to, to benchmark to, and to decide how fast they want to, uh, to move to the US or to, China, or to Asia. So essentially, there's a lot. It works well. We know how to do small, but and also big startup more and more. And and and, and there is plenty of a, a reason for you to try. So, is it for you? For you is read the question. I have a couple of remarks to share as concluding remarks. So again, very unique experience in my in my um, experience, my own experience. This is not something uh, you can master easily. I think management in large company, you know, there are tools, you know how to do it. Startups, it's always different. It's always complex. That was make it fun. It's like, like research. I, I haven't done much research. I chose to go uh, another path, MBA and so on after my uh, initial uh, master studies. But um, essentially, the, um, it, this is, each case is very different and you have to inf invent unique solutions all the time. This is what makes it fun, in my opinion, uh, the, the startups. But you need resilience. I think what was mentioned is that you, you go through ups, downs, and so on. There's no way you can be sure of the, of the result. So resilience is very important. There's a short-term cost, potentially. You could get more money if you go to a large corporation uh, initially. But overall, you can manage your risk. You could say, you know, I'm willing to invest so much by looking at the difference in salary you could get and so on. And you can also ask you every year, am I learning something important? For, my, for me, for my life, for my careers? Am I uh, trading value in, the, in the, the company that in a way I will monetize one day? And uh, there are many studies that show that this is a much better choice financially than most career choices to go through startups to, those days. Uh, all people achieve success to some degree, pretty much all of them, if you're a little bit uh, smart, which you are. And also very important, you need to be flexible in the way you do it. So that, this is what I wanted to share with you, and uh, again, this is what it looks like. It's never a straight line, as, as you know in life, for everything. Uh, but uh, I, I look very much forward to having many of you join this community as fast as possible. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.